Now, we're so excited to welcome our next guests, two guys that really know how to spin a yarn. Filmmaker and founder of Depop Studios, Dan Sickles, and creative producer and Dan's partner, Will Swan. Will and Dan will be discussing their passion for filmmaking and how AI is transforming the creative process and creating new opportunities for advanced storytelling. Let's hear for Dan and Will. Hi, everyone. Um, it's been an incredible day and a half at the Creators Conference. Thank you, Samsung, for inviting us among such incredible creatives and for pioneering cutting-edge technology that fuels our inspiration and creativity. For those who don't know me, I'm Will, a creator and producer in the TV, film, and tech space. Um, most recently, I created Samsung's Exposure on Hulu. Hi, Marilyn and Jose. <laughs> Um, and a documentary on Netflix uh, called Trainwreck that was all about Woodstock 99. Over the past couple of years, I've been immersed in the how artists build new work with new tools to express themselves and perhaps most importantly, build their communities. Take for instance, artists like Claire Silver, who collaborates with AI to create digital works that she sometimes paints in real life, and communities like the Forgotten Runes, evolving from a Lord of the Rings type fantasy NFT collection into a multimedia narrative world of comics, an MMORPG, and an animated feature film, all of which are contributed to by the community members who are utilizing a bespoke AI platform for storytelling. Even with just those two examples, you can visualize how AI is being used in every aspect of the content creation process. To connect sparks of ideas, whether all your own or as a collective, from the mundane elements like presentation building all the way to breathtaking visuals in cinema. As a creative producer, my role is to help any type of creative be the best they can be while also connecting their projects to the largest audiences available. AI has helped me incubate ideas faster, from pitch to screen. AI can help you foster the seed of an idea into a foundation of a meaningful conversation something you can share with your communities for input or investors for financing. It is truly a tool that can be used from creative pitch to screen. And speaking of creative pitch, I first met Dan over a concept he had for an innovative documentary. He wanted to build a film that documented artists building the future of art and the innovative te technology they used to create their art. He also wanted to be sure to bridge the information gap for audiences so that they too could understand the what and the how these tools are used, can be used in their own lives. That documentary is called New Here, and it's our flagship project at Depop Studios, directed by Dan and produced by Oscar winner Shane Boris, myself, Hannah Rubin, and Bruce Chung. With the help of technology, New Here has transcended beyond a film. It's a digital collectible, a thriving community, and even a gamified media extension with a distribution reward. New Here is even innovative on the boring financing side. Our collectibles raised a significant portion of the film budget, and we were even able to give artists in the film revenue based on that collection. This is unheard of in the indie filmmaker space. This film has truly opened our eyes to AI's potential as a creative partner, inspiring us to teach and empower creatives worldwide. Now let me tell you a little bit more about Dan. Dan is the youngest film director to win the prestigious Sundance Film Festival Grand Jury Prize. His film, Dina, is a masterpiece in documentary filmmaking and a watershed moment for its representation of neurodiversity. And prior to Dina, his film, Mala Mala, was a landmark in bringing inclusion to the big screen as the first film made in Puerto Rico to have a theatrical premiere in the United States. Dan's work consistently lives ahead of the curve, and often we as producers and audience members are catching up to his cool factor because he just told us and showed us what's cool. Dan is going to walk you through two movies built with AI, New Here and his most recent film art project, Man with an AI Movie Camera. This film will also resonate with you as creators because it references public domain, black and white silent film from the 1920s. The original film, Man with a Movie Camera, is important in the canon of cinema history because it showcased innovative ways to use a film camera. Knowing that, they trained an AI to watch the film and break it down shot by shot. Filmmaking with AI really breaks down to how you collaborate, collaborate with it, converse with it. 
Dan and Bruce generated a long-form prompt to reconstruct every scene in the film with different cinematic styles, from anime to impressionism. What is important here, aside from the incredible visuals, is we breathe new life into forgotten cinema. After all, Hollywood loves a reboot. I'm excited for you to see in this presentation how we, traditional filmmakers who do not come from a tech background, learn to use AI to build almost all of the media projects at Depop Studios. Over to you. Thank you, Will. You are too kind. <clears throat> uh, hi, everyone. We are living in a crazy moment for creatives. You know, a lot of people think that culture and technology are two separate things, and our language has tricked us into believing that they are. But the truth is, is the two have always been connected. Way back in the day, mixing paint for a canvas basically required being a chemistry pro, and early photographers they were dealing with some of the most dangerous chemicals just to create a new technique. When you look back, the cutting edge of art and culture always involves science and new technology, and treading on that gray area of rules that were made using previous tech, which may no longer be relevant. In the dance of adaptation, it's art that helps us make sense of new technologies and how they fit into our lives. With all the buzz around AI, especially generative AI, people are having some big, deep, existential conversations about what it all means. These conversations are not new, but they are newly ignited by greater access to this tech. As creatives, as always, we are best positioned to help make sense of what's happening and how it's impacting our culture. It's been over a decade since I began making films, and the landscape of what's being watched and how has changed dramatically. My early work, like my films Dina and Mala Mala, and my music videos were not super techy.、Uh, I wasn't really into heavy animation or complex composited shots because I, I assumed it would cost too much for an indie budget to sustain. But as generative AI became more accessible, it became impossible to ignore, and I still. Don't quite have the words to describe how much potential there is. I'm excited and hopeful for our future with these technologies at our fingertips. I believe that embracing these tools and using them to explore the rich complexity of the human experience, we can create meaningful work together. Personal integrity and being open about how we're using these technologies will become more relevant as they become easier to use. And it's through art and creativity that we can inspire the best in people. That's what I've been focusing on in my work, and that's what drives us at Depop Studios. Earlier this year, at the 2024 Sundance Film Festival, we launched Depop, an emerging media company building new ecosystems for the creation and distribution of new media. As we build a, a future-forward studio, we've created some guideposts to help support our decisions as a creative team on an uncharted path. The first is particularly relevant for today. Art and technology are intertwined. Access to both is paramount. Art and ideas and concepts and the technology to enable them are forever engaged in a never-ending feedback loop of inspiration. Paper and ink helped us preserve our cultural memories and knowledge, leading to the printing press and the spread of ideas. This then inspired more art and more cultural shifts, sparking even more creativity and progress. Jules Verne. The French author of Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea described an underwater vehicle so vividly, through his words, that he ignited the imagination of engineers to further develop the submarine. When photography came on in the scene in the 1800s, it totally shook up the art world. And then, just a few decades later, movies came along and brought art and technology together in a way everybody could engage with. Movies transported audience to incredible places and lands that were masterfully created. They became a powerful tool for communication, education, and expanding our imagination. From cinema, we got editing techniques and special effects, and the building blocks of modern visual storytelling that we still use today. Every time you edit a video for social media, you are tapping into the work of pioneering filmmakers who figured it out through a ton of experimentation. And at each turn, artists. 
and craftspeople and technicians have always used the latest technology to stand out, to grab attention, and to have their voices be heard. That's why access to new creative technologies is just as important as the technology itself. And that's why I'm so excited about what generative AI can do for creatives and the communities they build and surround themselves with. We really believe that community is what makes our art better. And to that end, everyone in our live audience today has received a limited edition Depop Studios art book it was in your bags that said, this is not trash. Um, inside is a claim of a one-of-a-kind digital collectible created for our upcoming film, New Here. And each pixelated character has been generated from over a thousand traits inspired by the cast of our film and unlocks future artist collaborations and access to future events. The collectible is called a newbie because we're all new here. For everyone watching online, head to newhere.xyz or at newhere.xyz on socials and hop into our Discord where you can learn more about how to get involved, collect, and collab with us. The communities of creative folks forming around these AI tools are super welcoming and easy to connect with. So much of what I've learned has come from free online tutorials made by people all around the world. Diving into these tools over the past few years has been challenging, but also really rewarding. To give you a better idea of how we work with AI, I've asked Proust Chung, our Chief Innovation Officer at Depop, to join me for a demo. Hey, I'm Bruce Chung, Head of Innovation at Depop Studios and one of the producers of New Here. I'm excited to share more about our workflow in collaborating with generative AI. Our journey into learning about these tools began organically, born from our work on New Here. New Here is a multi-platform, multimedia project years in the making. Firstly, it's a film about the value of art and culture, told from the perspective of a new user discovering a network of real-life artists and cypherpunks working together to build a more equitable internet. New Here Shorts is a series of gamified short film experiences in which audiences are rewarded for their engagement. And New Here Space is a metaversal experience where audiences can visit the fantastical sets from the film in immersive and interactive ways. It's through the support of accessible creative tools that New Here is realizing its potential through this multimedia, multidimensional approach. And with the collaboration of generative AI, we're constantly discovering new ways for the world of New Here to reach new audiences. Our starting point was learning about AI collaborative artists such as Mario Klingemann, Helena Sarin, Sofia Crespo, Ivana Tao, and filming with artists such as Robbie Barrett and Claire Silver. Understanding more about the process firsthand and listening to interviews and workshops they've done in the past helped give us a place to begin. From there, we began by finding accessible tools for us to experiment with. Forums and niche chat rooms helped a lot to understand new platforms as they were being created. Hours of sifting through tools to find the ones which helped us push our visions in new ways became part of the learning process. New Here is a high concept film which required a lot of pre-visualizations to help guide us in conversations with our animators. And as Claire Silver became a more prominent character in the film, we worked to find ways of bringing emotion to her artwork. We use Claire's artwork to generate these moving images. The results are flickery and impressionistic and evoke a sense of memory. To begin this process, and with the artist's permission, we trained an AI model on Claire's artwork. Models are datasets used to give structure and knowledge to generative AI algorithms. We're able to train, load, and share custom models designed around different aesthetics. We can even customize camera movements with code. To create these, we use a suite of tools for different adjustments to generate videos based on text or visual prompts. The open source nature of many of these products allows us to really experiment and have deep control over the outputs. Using AI as a conceptual tool to workshop storyboards and brainstorm designs for our projects help push the vision for the film to new places. The tools we use to generate this work are accessible and each has their own strengths depending on the look and goal of the output. For the New Here short film series, we use a mixed media approach with AI. For each episode of the series, we workshopped worlds using generative AI and then created them with our animation team. We then took this one step further, building out this set into a metaversal, experiential, virtual space that quite literally surrounds the audience. While the space was being created, generative AI helped us establish a visual language 
which made it easier to communicate to our animators and designers, helping us move into our work together on a quicker timeline. Since beginning our work on New Year, the tools we've been using have been exponentially growing in their capacity. And through months of working with engineers, we've been able to push into new territory, releasing the studio's most ambitious generative AI project to date, Man with AI Movie Cam. An homage to the 1929 masterpiece film, this project is a series of 480 feature-length films mirroring the original film as interpreted by various AI models. Based on a long-form prompt, mapping out the length of each shot, describing the action within it, and adding motion through code, we're able to generate echoes of the original masterpiece film translated through new lenses. Revealing throughout the year, Man with AI Movie Camera will encapsulate the growing capabilities of generative AI and motion picture storytelling, and many editions of the collection have found homes with prominent art and film collectors through authenticated digital art marketplaces. The scale of the Man with AI Movie Camera collection, 480 feature-length films, produced throughout the next year by a small team of artists and engineers, is a multiple of what one film studio could produce in a generation. That's all changed in the span of a few years. The power to create and imagine anything using generative AI, from text to images to videos to music, is becoming more accessible and easier to use for everyone. By artists and creators embracing some of these tools, fresh possibilities can emerge. What'd you think? Cool? Yes? <laughs> Inspired? Awesome. As we've seen, generative AI is revolutionizing the creative process, opening up new possibilities for storytelling and expression. But what's really exciting is how it's making creativity more accessible to everyone. In the past, bringing your creative vision to life was often limited by your technical skills or resources. But with generative AI, those barriers are coming down. Now it's your unique perspective your taste, and your creative vision that really matters. This doesn't mean that skill is no longer important. Working with generative AI still requires understanding of the tools and the, the ability to guide the technology toward your desired outcomes. But it does mean that more people than ever before have the chance to be part of the creative process, to tell their stories, and to shape our culture. At Depop Studios, we're thrilled to be at the forefront of this movement exploring how generative AI can empower creatives and build more inclusive and vibrant storytelling communities. All the better, you're all already invited on this journey to try out these tools for yourself and to lean into your unique voice and vision to guide you as we all work together to redefine what's possible in the world of storytelling and beyond. Thank you so much for having us today. Thank you, guys. <laughs>